Hello, it's Fair Club. Today we are reviewing the 75259 Snowspeeder 20th Anniversary Edition, which just means it has an extra figure and special packaging. Yay! The set has 309 pieces, was in stores like to start with in 2019, and I believe it costs about $40. Although if you're looking to buy this now on say Amazon, eBay, Bricklink, whatever. It's going to cost you a lot more with the release of, um, uh, that. So, first impressions based on the front of the box, we got three figures here, being, of course, Luke Skywalker, Dak Rattler, and a Rebel Trooper, with the um, old-style gun, which is kind of nice because 20th anniversary. Also, we get Lando Calrissian on a little platform. And it is a technically exclusive figure, and it's a 2003 version. Also, we have, so we have the snow speeder here, which looks like it has a tow cable and a little radar dish. And if we flip it around the back, also you're going to see on this set, I for, just forgot to mention this, like 20th anniversary packaging. Since it was 20 years of LEGO Star Wars when this was released, here we can see some of the features, as well as some uh, information on the original set, which this is kind of modeled off of, which had a snow speeder, rebel trooper, and radar dish. And also with the exclusive figures. So, uh, yeah, that's the box. Let's do the figures. Our first figure up, I'm just going to do the um, 20th anniversary figure, is Lando Calrissian. Yeah, he ha is on his special stand here, which is a 20 years of LEGO Star Wars, 1999 to 2019. It's a printed element, which is nice. The figure itself has when you're like a Star Wars printed on his back so you can tell him apart from your other ones if you have others. He also has a double color cape which is nice. Um, double sided head, not there, although when these figures were made they didn't really have double sided heads. Decent torso print, like the detail on there, got a little blaster rifle thing, the old style of them. So yeah, that's your exclusive 20 years of LEGO Star Wars figure. Uh, before I start this, I'd like to say I'm um, sorry for the noise in the back. Our neighbors like doing something right now, and it's pretty loud. But this is your Rebel Hoth Trooper without leg printing, but with the really cool old-style blaster, as well as a backpack, a pretty standard head. I don't think yet. Yeah, it's not double-sided. And um, he's got the little helmet with the goggles, so you can flip these down. Nice torso print right there. I'm going to try to bring it closer to the camera. Conveniently focused, unlike sometimes when it never focuses when I'm trying to show you people. Yeah, this is the Rebel Trooper, and they did have more of these in the little play sets, the action battle, like the spring-loaded launcher, whatever they were called things. So this, it's not like these were impossible to get at the time. So this is the Luke Skywalker figure, and he is not an exclusive figure. By any means, but that's okay because I mean, he's also in the Ad At Walker. And um, it's got a nice torso print. People have been complaining that the, the Luke torso prints have been faded recently, so I guess like maybe that one's a bit faded. It doesn't look as bad as the Ad At one though, that was like noticeably faded. He has a lightsaber, got a little blaster on the back, he has his goggles in the folded up position. Uh, it's, it's identical to the other one we got in 2020. And it's a nice figure to have in a snowspeeder, because what else were they going to put in there? Not Luke. The final figure in our set is Dak Rattler, and this guy is, um, we've seen him before, and we'll definitely see him again. The um, helmet and face um, are reused prints, so it's like standard like rebel pilots from various vehicles. And I don't really have a problem with that. I mean. He's got a double-sided face, so you can swap them out if you're really complaining. He has a little blaster, which can be stored away in the snow speeder, but we'll see that later. And the torso print. The camera would zoom in. I know I can maybe get a good view. Torso print there. Looking nice. Does have back details. But it's pretty much just the same as Luke, except for a different character, different hat, and all that. Of course, before I get into the main build, LEGO had to include a side build, which isn't that big, to increase the price of the set. So we have a radar dish. This radar dish here kind of has something which I guess you could count as a control panel. It's got some binoculars, some extra stud shooter bits, because 
Here we get a stud shooter. Also, we can fold that. We can spin it around. I really think I shouldn't have to explain stud shooters. Tell me in the comments, do I have to explain stud shooters or do you understand them at this point? Because they've been around for years. So yeah, it's nice. But the thing we're probably all here for is the snow speeder. And this set has some features in it, of course, like any other set. Starting off with the little wing flaps here, which do have stickers, and then the set's kind of sticker heavy. Like you can see, like you got stickers here, 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 here. On the front. And there's inside ones as well. So yeah. Bit much with the stickers. Also, it's a nice kind of swooshable set, very lightweight. It's got some Flick fire, not flick fire, spring, spring loaded shooters in the bottom. And some little grill pieces in the back to kind of get that design, as well as a tow cable. So you have to tie that in. And it can extend pretty far. I'm just doing a little bit right now. But I don't know, it's got some length to it. You can definitely go around a couple of ADAT legs with this. Also, we have a little back gun here. You can remove this as a figure weapon, but it kind of seems out of place with the blasters that are included in the set. Opening up the front can be done in two ways. There is the way I call the break it way, because it breaks it. So I need to fix that up now. Yeah, I wouldn't really suggest opening it up on the hinges. I would just suggest folding the whole thing open. It's a lot easier. You can see we have a little printed panel piece. Kind of like It's crooked, but supposed to be like, I guess like the little back area, there's like this tow cable, some mountains, as well as a decent storage compartment where we can take blasters and place the blasters in there. There is another spot between the seats, but it kind of gets in the way. Now we can take figures, like Dak Rattler here, and just throw him in the back. And he is ready to go. Also, you have space in the sides for the figure's arms, and a panel piece here, so that Luke can actually kind of look like he's controlling it. Very easy to get the figures in. I should have that. Okay. Put in the lightsaber, fold that down, everything's all in there. And with this breaking off, I guess you can kind of do it, it's just a pain to do. So yeah, it's got two ways to open, two spots for figures, two places to hold weapons. Here's some kind of side profile. So yeah, partner it with your little thing here. Get your little trooper here, and your display piece here. And you are ready to attack the oncoming ADAT and ATSD walkers. Well, before I end this review, I'd like to take a moment to talk about shelf compatibility, displayability, whatever you call it, I will do it. Here you can see the box. But on a shelf, it looks pretty nice. You can definitely like fit it on these ladder shelves. I know people have these. And it goes pretty nice against your ADAT walker, here's just size. Snow speeder, ADAT. And if you're unlucky, they'll cost the same if you're trying to buy them both. But yeah, it's nice. You got trooper reaction here, have a battle. And like the extra bits in the ad go very well with the extra bits from the snow speeder. Yeah, the extra bits. So yeah, that's displayability. Obviously, as some of you may be wondering, should I buy this? Well, um, that I'm kind of conflicting on. Because, like, if you want your Hoth mock to look nice, you want to have something to fight up against your ADAT right here, then definitely. But the problem is, if you want to buy them, you're going to be spending, like, $80 on them because everyone wants to have them fight a your ADAT. I need to stop handing over for that. But, like, these are hard to come across. So, like, I would doubt you'd get anything below $50 on one. Like, that'd be a pretty lucky find. Or at least an inbox one, I guess. If you found one that's not in the box, maybe missing some parts, maybe missing him, then maybe you'd have a bit less. Host. Also, um, with my uploads, since my next one, based on every other day, would be the um, Christmas Eve holiday, 
I'm thinking maybe should I do the advent calendar for this year? So tell me in the comments, do I do the advent calendar review? It'd be different since it's not like a big uniform set. Just in the comments. Should I? Should I not? Thank you for watching and stay safe.